Marvel here at uh, CES Unveil. And this is the XO4. Correct. So uh, since when is this working? Um, this is a, this is the new uh, XO4. So OPC will be uh, announcing this this week. Um, so what's changed from the previous version to this version is the internal guts have been completely upgraded. So we've upgraded from a single core CPU to the PXC2128, which is a dual core 1.2 gigahertz um, device. And the Wi-Fi is also upgraded to the Marvell 8787, which is the 11 n uh, one by one device compared to the previous uh, BG generations. Um, so in addition to upgrading the hardware, what's also changed is now this is a touch screen. So you can not only use the mouse and the keyboard, but you can also use a touch screen. For example, so what you can do now is, when it's a touch, you know, what that enables is not only the clamshell, but you can fold it over, so we have this, you know, and now it's a tablet. So it kind of enables the best of both worlds. And this is uh, not capacity, this is a Neonode. Um, yeah, so this is a Neonode IR, IR touch. touch. Right. So there's a whole layer around here. Yeah, so you can kind of see a little bit of this uh, the black right there. Uh, that's, that's the IR. Is the gap larger than before, or is it basically the same? It was a gap before. It's basically the same. Yeah, um, they were able to reuse it. Like the size of the device, the weight, is the same, right? Right. So yeah. it's actually the same. Actually, we use a lot of the other you know, mechanicals and, and ID, for example, which is very expensive. But uh, internal guts are much different, and, and the, the touch is the brand new feature. And uh, so using this new PXA2128, right? Uh, does that improve the battery life also? It's um, faster. Yeah, it's, it's, it's faster. So it also improves the battery life. It's on the low, newer uh, process nodes, 40 nanometer device. The previous one was 55 nanometers as additional power saving features. Yeah. So we think that there's going to be benefits in both power and performance. So there is a potentially longer battery life. Yes. Uh, and uh, the Wi Fi, does that like also improve the battery life of the Wi Fi, the new Wi Fi chip? Yeah, the new Wi Fi chip is also, of course, newer, is in a better. Uh, technology node, so you get better power performance and also connectivity performance. All right, so this is uh, kind of like ready to ship, no? How, they, will, they will announce, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They I will think say I, exactly yeah, how I'm soon I'm going to you to OLPC for, for those details. Nice, and you're also doing a, a smile plug. Uh, right. Is that the same internals? Or is it uh, different? No, smile plug is completely different. So the smile plug is, is a way to change the educational ecosystem, you get technology in the classroom. So what our goal is to put one of these in every classroom in the world. And what this is, is it's a smart server. It creates a private cloud for up to 60 devices. So it's very easy to use. The teacher plugs it in. Um, when it smiles, everything's up and running. You can connect to 60 devices. And now once the devices are connected, you have all sorts of new use cases. So what you have here, what we've shown here, this is actually an application developed by Stanford University. Is a is a teacher student quiz program where the teacher where the student is running a quiz. The teacher can see all the different students connected to it and see the results in real time. Because you have this interactivity, the uh, the interactivity, you can do all sorts of new use cases. And what we're trying to do is develop this uh, in partnership with Stanford and other partners and small consortium to make this an open source ecosystem. Uh, so that people can develop additional applications and use cases for this. Nice. So this is like an enterprise style Wi-Fi is like a, the best Wi-Fi you can get, Correct. right? Correct. And uh, yeah, I would try to say here it might be right, might be wrong. Right. It's like uh, this is how our students get clever. Is that they, they need to do right. tests the all the time? Be, the apps can be different. There are many use right. cases. Um, Question and answer is just one. You can take attendance, you can serve content, you can serve interactive publishers, can put their educational content on the device. Um, it's really about the ecosystem that can be enabled by having a reliable, always on connection in the classroom. This is, can also be connected to the cloud such that when it is connected to the device, to the cloud, you can download new content, you can send the analytics back up to the, to the ecosystem. So uh, how many did you sell so far? And uh, how, big, how soon is it going to be huge? Oh, how soon is every school going to have one? The sooner the better. Um, this, is, this is an active pilot program today. So there are schools in the Bay Area that are piloting this. Um, and, you know, we're working with manufacturing partners to bring this to the mass. What is the feedback? From the first pilots, um, we people get say it's initial awesome. feedbacks already, but usually, you know, we go through with like a semesters worth of class, you know, different. And basically, you can combine this and that, right? Well, so this is device agnostic, so you can yeah. actually use the OPC to connect to the smart plug. You can use laptops, you can use your mobile phone, you can use any Wi-Fi device right. with a browser, with a browser, or you can have native apps either. for Android, iOS. 
easy, right? Yeah. Something. Cool. All right. So uh, looking forward to uh, touching the tablet style OLPC with a server. How much do you think it can cost, mass manufactured? Um, so we can make this for less than thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Like, what is the minimum order for that? Huh? Like ten thousand units or uh, a million or how many do you make? You need to make for that price. Oh, it's a decent volume, but really, in education, it's not going to be about a one-time sell. It's really a yearly model with the service wrapped around the devices and everything else. So she is to make the bombs low enough such that the service provider, whoever it may end up being in the school, can you know generate. The, the money that, that they need. And this is what we need. We need uh, Ethernet in every room, right? Connect, and then uh, this new kind of smart school. This is what the future schools that need to be. Like, use technology, right? Right. Use every, in every school. Right. Correct. So you just, I don't know what you actually just did, but you actually basically you just reset the power. You could saw that it was frowning. So yeah. it actually resets. The teacher actually knows it's no longer working. It's booting up right now. It's going to smile when it's when it's done. It's plug and play. Every teacher can figure it out. Right. That's that was key. Make you have to make it easy enough for teachers to use. Make it ultra reliable. Uh, make it simple so they know if it's not working, they can move on. Peut-être m'en apprendre à connaître. Je me révèle petit à petit. Et parfois, ce n'est pas à mon à mon avantage, certes. Mais j'aime trop dans un sens sortir ou avoir ma propre vie, ma propre indépendance.